Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be learning how to calculate consumer surplus when looking at a monopoly graph. With that said, let's get into it. So starting off, we have just our basic monopoly graph. We have the marginal revenue, marginal cost, average total cost, and demand curves all plotted on a price and quantity axis. Now we know that if this was perfect competition, then we would consume at an equilibrium point where marginal revenue intersects with marginal cost. And in this case, that is a point where the quantity is three and the price is 12. But we know that a monopoly is very different because they are not constrained to any competition, which means they can actually charge a price much higher and they will follow in a straight line all the way up until they reach the demand curve, which in this case is $36. Now in a previous video we made on calculating profit, we discovered that the total revenue is represented by this blue rectangle and that we could represent total cost by this pink rectangle and the monopolist profits by this green rectangle. But that's not what this video is about. This video wants to calculate consumer surplus. Now recall that when looking at a graph, the consumer surplus is the area below the demand curve and above the selling price. So in this case, it's represented by this orange triangle. Now that we've discovered this triangle, all we need to do is calculate its area to get the consumer surplus. Remember that the area of a triangle is simply base times height divided by two. Well, the base of the triangle is easy. It's just three, it's the quantity. Well, the height's a little bit trickier. It's not 36, but it's actually the difference between the p-intercept of the demand curve, which in this case is 52, and 36. So we can write this in the formula as consumer surplus is equal to three, the base of the triangle, times 52 minus 36, which is the height of the triangle, divided by two. Upon simplifying this, we get three times 16 divided by two. Simplifying further, consumer surplus is equal to $48 divided by two. And then solving the final step, consumer surplus is equal to $24. Now in first year economics, you will be expected to know this concept very well. So please feel free to review this concept, as well as our previous video covering the monopoly's profit, so that when you look at a monopoly graph problem, you immediately know how to solve. Once again, to recap, you take a look at the quantity where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. You follow it all the way up to the demand curve. That dictates your selling price, which in this case is $36. Then you calculate the area below the demand curve and above the selling price. That triangle is your consumer surplus, and the calculations for solving are in front of you right now. We hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, let us know in the comment section what sort of economic topics or homework questions you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you in the next.